like you said, Lenin and them used this star, and there was that star of communism. They really do believe this is uh, bringing them power. And it seems at the top that they're waiting for, uh, you know, the coming of either, you know, their Christ, uh, some call it the Antichrist. Uh, when we had the America's Secret Beginnings guy on, um, he called it, you know, Maitreya or, you know, the next Buddha. And, uh, you know, in uh, the Bohemian Grove, they not only have this owl god, uh, and they also have St. John of Maple Nut, but they also have a uh, large Maitreya statue as well. So I was wondering if you could comment on that. Well, uh, uh uh, uh, you have about three or four subjects there. Which one? I'm sorry, I'm so off track. <laughs> well, the, the so coming of uh, the, yeah, all right, the coming of a uh, of of a of an antichrist? antichrist or or a Maitreya. They all seem that that's the next step. The coming of a new age, an age of oh, Aquarius. Ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, I came across just uh, this last week uh, a, a aerial shot of the estate mansion of the Prime Minister uh, of uh, uh, Premier of Italy, Silvio Berlusconi. Mm -hmm. And it clearly shows in the the landscaping, he has a, it's actually, you know, a, painted there on the ground, and it must be 75 feet long. It's a huge serpent, and a, and a man is coming out of its mouth. This is the serpent birthing the Antichrist, and it's part of the landscape of the Berlusconi uh, mansion. But, if you, but we can do better than that. Just travel to Washington, D.C., the, the very cover of my book, Mysterious Monuments, has a the symbol of the Antichrist coming up out of the great sea of chaos, Neptune or Poseidon, you know, depending whether you're a Greek or a Roman ancient religionist. But but that that God represented the great beast coming up out of the sea. And notice on my book, I don't know if you have it there with you, Mr. Oh yes, Monuments. I do. We're showing it to PrisonPlanet.tv members right now. Okay. Now, Mysterious Monuments shows this, this green-colored, uh, hideous-looking, uh, very muscular, naked, uh, strong beast coming up out of this fountain. Okay? Now, on either side of him, announcing his coming, you know, like the Antichrist is here, the great beast 666 is here, or uh, two uh, uh, naked uh, uh, guys playing the conch shell. You know, they're blowing the horn. But preceding him is a great demonic spitting serpent. Now, this actually is the main fountain in front of the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. And inside, they actually have a wall mural with the same creature with horns, wearing horns. Poseidon, also called Neptune. Now, you know, in the occult world, they believe... Uh, and the, the, the uh, very important, and the, it, it covers everything, all of their philosophy, their secret doctrine, as above, so below, which is Satan's boast that he will reconcile heaven, hell, earth, you know, all is one. What's above is below. Now, this Poseidon or Neptune that the United States has adopted as its great symbol in front of our Library of Congress which actually is the depository of all the wisdom of the American people. That's what that building stands for, the Great Library of Congress. We have this devil coming up out of the sea. Now, Jason, I want you just to feast your mind for a moment on Revelation 13, verse 1, where the Apostle John sees a picture of the beast of prophecy, 666. And it says... And I beheld a beast rising up out of the sea. Here he is. But, but wait, not too far down the road, there is the Masonic, uh, George Washington National Masonic Monument. Mm -hmm. A huge towering structure recreated uh, after the, the blueprints of the, the great Pharaoh's lighthouse in the Egyptian harbor. And at the very top of it, at that lighthouse, was a great statue of Zeus. Now, Zeus is the god of the sky. He's the occult god of the heavens. His son, Apollo, rides around in a chariot with four horses, the four horsemen of the apocalypse, Revelation 6. So we have, as above, the devil above, Zeus, and the devil below. Now, if, if the devil below, coming up out of the sea of chaos is our God in the United States, okay, then who is the global God? Well, visit the United Nations. 
<laughs> I did. I went to New York. I went inside, and guess what? Right there in the lobby is a great statue of Zeus. But but I'm not even finished with that. The the devil has to have a mistress. Satan has to have a mistress because she's the whore of Babylon, right? Symbolically, mm -hmm. all this is now spiritually crazy, but they believe it. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? She's atop the Capitol Dome. <laughs> Persephone, the right? God is atop our Capitol Dome, mm -hmm. which is built in the form of a, 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 a temple. In fact, the Jefferson of death. call it the Temple of the People. Now, we get back to the Antichrist. I discovered something very fascinating, almost frightening. Did you know that the, 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 the great dome with a goddess on top of it, mm -hmm. way deep underneath, that's called, the, you know, where all the people go, where they have statuettes and all the, these things, is the rotunda, the, the round section inside. You can walk around. It's like a museum if you visit the Capitol. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, they give people a cure of deep down underneath. Now, there's nothing down there underneath. Now, I'm talking about underneath the Capitol Dome and Rotunda place where nobody goes, visit down there, and you will see there's nothing down there except a great stone sarcophagus or coffin. And it's there, and they'll even take you to it uh, on their little tour that's done like twice a week now, okay? Mm -hmm. So you're, you're down in the crypt. It's actually called the crypt of the capital. And, and there behind the wrought iron uh, a fence like and a gate is this gigantic stone sarcophagus just like you find rough stone just like is found in the, the, the great king's chamber of the pyramid of Giza in Egypt now you ask the guide well what is this for who's in there he says it's empty now the theory went and he might tell you if you ask him he says well it was originally intended for George Washington to be laid to rest here under the Capitol. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not true. And my book, Mysterious Monuments, explains why. And in fact, it's said that George Washington's family refused to allow him, uh, his body, to be interred there at the Capitol. Why is that? Well, it never was intended for George Washington. That is, that is, that remains for the Antichrist. Symbolically, he will come up out of the earth. Remember the beast of Revelation? There's the first beast that rises up out of the sea. There's mm -hmm. another one even that rises up out of the earth. Mm -hmm. And he's like the false prophet who points everybody to the first beast, and then he says, you must worship the image of the beast, and you must take the mark or the name or the number of the beast, which is 666, or you'll have your head chopped off. Now, that is the Antichrist, the beast that comes up out of the, 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 the earth. So, so this sarcophagus, I believe, is intended for that. And to prove my point, right in the middle of the crypt on the floor is a huge, round, bronze plate. Mm -hmm. And it has, it's, it's got a compass on it, showing the four points of the earth, or the four corners of the earth. Ask the guide, what is this jacket? It's, you know, like a manhole cover. Mm -hmm. What is this secret great bronze plate right at the very center of the crypt under the dome? You know, if you were, if you were the goddess, you could look straight down into it. Well, it opens up down to the earth to a great cavern. And they will not tell you underground where that tunnel leads to, to a great tunnel. But I found out in studying the ancient Romans and the Etruscans that they would always build a capital building of three parts, which is the same as our capital building, with a dome in the middle and a crypt. And deep in the crypt in the center, they would have a huge bronze plate. Mm -hmm. And at certain times during the year, Jason, they would the high priest of Satan, let's just call it, or of their gods and goddesses, they would call it, would go down there and have a ritual a black mass, let's just call it, open up the great plate and invo invoke or invite the demons or the spirits from the earth to come forth to the four corners of the world and bless the people. 
Now, this is astonishing that we have everything like that right there in Washington, D.C., and an empty stone sarcophagus. Now, to make my point about George Washington, that it was never intended to be his, mm-hmm. at, at Mount Vernon, the estate of Washington, they, his family actually, at his instructions, he was a high-level Freemason, they, they built a great Queen's, Egyptian Queen's palace, sort of a miniature one, but there it is, with mm-hmm. two huge Egyptian obelisks in front of it. He was laid inside the womb of the Egyptian queen, her palace. That is her womb. Between the two great pillars or obelisks, which are the phalluses of the god and the sun. Zeus, Apollo, or, you know, whatever version you want there.